Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take you to one of my favorite spots in Lima, the Lince District. More specifically, the Riso area within Lince. During the day, Riso seems relatively tame, just another neighborhood, but once the sun goes down, Riso really comes alive. Compared to the other nightlife areas around Lima like Hiron Zepita, Mega Plaza, Lince overall is a way nicer and safer district. Those other zones have a much more grittier feel to them, and if you see images, you'll know what I'm talking about. The only downside to Riso is that the action doesn't really get started until later in the evening, so if you really want to get your night started earlier, those other zones like Hiron Sepita Mega Plaza are a better option for that. If I was to give time frames, I'd say Hiron Sepita Mega Plaza, they open up like around 4pm, and Linse will not open up until like maybe 9pm, so it's, it's a 5 hour gap, so it's kind of a lot of time. If you're unfamiliar with the tour zones in Lima, it consists of San Isidro, Miraflores, and Barranco. I would not classify Linse as a tourist zone, it's more of a middle class district, but it still feels very safe and welcoming to tourists. If you consider staying near Riso, there's about 15 hotels in that area. It's important to note that some hotels are short stays and unsuitable for long term stays as they lack proper accommodations like space and storage. On my Patreon I have a list of hotels that should be considered for extended stays and those that are only designed for short stays. I'll review a few hotels for YouTube but the complete review is also available on my Patreon. Hotel Aristo is the first hotel I'd recommend to someone wanting to stay in the Aristo area. It's located right in the heart of the zone, the rooms can be reserved for short and long stays. They are big enough that you don't feel claustrophobic and it comes with storage cabinets, which believe it or not is a hard ask in some of these short stay hotels. And the ceiling mirrors are always a nice touch. Room service is limited to appetizers, cocktails, and drinks, but it's also sensibly priced. The rooms are always super clean, so I always come here for short stays. Many short stay hotels get cycled in so much that the cleaning staff just don't pay attention to detail, and in really bad cases it smells like whoever was in there last. Coming here, I always know the sheets have been swapped and it smells fresh. When you walk into the lobby, it feels very elegant. Check-in is simple, hand over your passport or ID, and you are given keys and a remote to a TV. Prices are as follows, 50 solas for short stays, and that would consist of a couple hours, maybe 4 or 5, and then 50, 120 solas for overnight stays. Uh, usually, you would have to leave the next day at like noon, or you could just double up on another night. A few downsides are that TVs are not always like smart, so uh, clearly state that you want a smart TV. It's always a pain when you walk into a room and you can't play music on TV. Another big downside here is that there's no air conditioning. They have a pretty decent big fan and a big window, but it's no replacement for an AC. Overall, I would say this should be one of your first options if you plan on staying in the Riso area for a few days, or if you're just planning on staying for a short time while partying around the area. Hotel Astoria is a staple of Riso. It's the most modern hotel in the area and has the most foot traffic, cycling the most people on any given night. It has around 100 rooms and on a busy night you might find it hard to get a room at all. It should not take long for one to open up, there's always one becoming available every 30 minutes or so. This hotel is strictly a short stay destination and you will be told how many hours you will be allowed to stay there. Pricing can also vary at times, 45 solas on some nights and 55 solas on others. I believe they have a built in algorithm that will set the prices and times based on demand. Prices are also based on whether or not you want a room with a view or a room with a jacuzzi. As lovely as these rooms are, I'm sure you can tell by the photos that these rooms are really small and intimate. Even if you wanted to stay here long term, you would have no space to store anything and the beds take up around 60% of the entire room. The short stays here are great however, smart TVs always have YouTube and Spotify hooked up, never walked into a smelly or dirty room, and the cleaning staff is always on point. The beds are incredibly comfortable and sturdy, and the best part, every room has an AC, which is rare in hotels outside of the tourist zones. Room service has a full menu like any restaurant. To be honest, I really don't have anything bad to say about this hotel, other than the beer and liquor prices are a bit too high. If you plan on consuming, uh, it's best to bring your own stuff and don't use room service for that. Overall, it serves its purpose well, and it's no surprise that this place is the most popular short stay. Hotel Inti To Me. I'll review this one quickly, I only came here once, and it was a complete ripoff. It looked really nice from the outside, and the lobby looked really good as well. It had a high price tag of 100 souls for 6 hours. I assumed it'd be a great room, but in fact it was not a great room, it was like really smelly, 
I felt like the sheets were unchanged from the last person who stayed. There's not even a smart TV for 100, for 100 solos that's like really bad. It was a decent size, had some storage, but it's not worth staying there long term if the cleaning staff is like that bad. The nice exterior will really fool you, so be careful with this place. Um, so yeah, don't, I don't recommend in it to me. Now, let's talk about Spanish. While it's possible to get by with limited Spanish in tourist heavy areas, it's essential to remember that most locals do not speak English. Lince is really close to the tourist areas, so it's more forgiving if you're not proficient compared to the other zones like Mega Plaza and Hiron Cepita. This means if you're less experienced and green, I would start with Lince and see how it goes before you move on to other locations. Lastly, I want to discuss the food scene in case some of you guys are food tourists in here. In Riso, you will be pressed to find a good sit-down restaurant like those in the tourist zones. It's acceptable, but like not extravagant. And a lot of people do come to Peru for those extravagant hotels. I mean, extravagant restaurants. Um, and it lacks any wet markets where you have any unique dishes or any like, uh, you know, mom and pop shops that are really good as well. So, <clears throat> Lince is not really the best place to go for the food scene. Um, but if you're not into Peruvian food, um, you'll be glad to hear there's a McDonald's and KFC and other fast food locations around the Riso area. But once you wander off and go into other parts of Lince, You'll find you'll you'll tend to find a lot of Asian restaurants. So if you're all, if you're like in you have the itch for Asian food, Linse itself does have some good Asian restaurants, but not inside the Riso area. That's all I have for this video. On my Patreon, I have a 20 minute extended version of myself discussing Linse Riso, which includes reviews of all the hotels in Linse, more detailed information about being a Pokemon master, and other important information I can't talk about on YouTube. If I helped you in any way, please consider supporting me on Patreon. This YouTube account is not monetized. The tier system on Patreon has also just been revamped. Tier 1 gives you access to all the detailed PDFs that contain indexes of all the locations via Google Maps. I can save you a ton of time by tracking down the locations like hotel, money exchanges, and Pokemon zones. Tier 2 gives you access to all the videos like the 20 minute uncut version of this Lean Save Resale video. And Tier 3 gives you access to my personal number for one-on-one -on -one consultations or a video call where I review everything with visual aids. AIDS. Yeah, not AIDS, AIDS. <laughs> Alright guys, peace. <laughs>